St. Patrick's Day, the one day of the year when everyone's Irish. But before you get lost in a haze of Kiss Me I'm Irish t-shirts and pints of green beer, why not think outside the box, as my producer would put it, and find a different, classier way to honor the true spirit of Ireland. Honestly, I don't know of any self-respecting Irishman that would drink a sweetened cocktail with Irish whiskey, or God forbid, green beer. I think it's odd that on St. Patrick's Day, we don't think of the one undisputed gift that the Irish gave to the world, whiskey. But who knows what to look for? Tom Macy knows, and he's going to tell us the top three things to look for in an Irish whiskey. What is it about Irish whiskey? I mean, can you go into a little bit about the history or about how, how it's made? It's a, a lot lighter and smoother than a lot of other whiskeys. So, I, think, I mean, compare it to scotch. Absolutely. Yeah. Scotch, well, scotch has its trademark smokiness. I think that you know, in terms of whiskey drinkers, often Irish whiskey is a more introductory whiskey. People often sort of get in, that's like your ground floor because it's more drinkable. But I think that's another reason why Irish whiskey is so popular is that it is less aggressive and more drinkable. Do you mix with it? Or? Um, I think that you can use, uh, you know, a little like water here and there to open it up. You know, if you basically, if you add dilution, water or ice, which will melt and add dilution, it stretches out all those flavors. There's so much mm -hmm. packed in there. If I were a neophyte whiskey drinker, mm -hmm. and I came to you as a bartender and I said, what, I wanna try a, an authentic, true Irish whiskey for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, what, what, would you, what would be your three words of advice? For me? There's pure pot still, which is unmalted barley and malted barley, mm -hmm. and it's uh, distilled in a, in a pot still, twice mm -hmm. distilled in pot still, or perhaps more. Um, I find that that, uh, the pure pot still is the most traditional. It's the most flavorful and, and enjoyable to me. Then you're looking at uh, what is in the barrel or what the barrel is they're using mm -hmm. to age it. In Ireland, there is no law regulating what type of barrel the whiskey's aged in. They use, often use Madeira barrels, mm -hmm. uh, which is a fortified wine, port. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of the, some, sometimes the bottles will tell you um, what barrel it's aged in, but um, not often. So sometimes you have to do a little digging. Right. If you, your bartender knows his stuff, maybe he'll, maybe he'll be able to tell you. My okay. third tip is uh, how long it's spent in that barrel. The aging. The aging. People often think um, that you know an 18-year-old whiskey is going to be better than a 10-year-old whiskey. Right. I mean, the price certainly would suggest that. Um, and. It goes on personal preference, of course, but I believe that's just not true. I mm -hmm. think that sometimes when whiskeys spend such a long time in wood that they end up taking, tasting more like wood than they do mm -hmm. whiskey. What I've found, the Irish whiskeys I've enjoyed the most have usually spent between like 8 and 12 years mm -hmm. in a barrel. Now I could go on and on about the details of peated single malts or continuously distilled blends, double or even triple distilling. But when you're celebrating St. Patrick's Day, does any of that really matter? We have a yeah. lot of people on St. Patrick's Day that are, you know, the one day of the year where everybody seems to be Irish. Yeah, right. And I think Americans have taken it, and Irish for that matter have taken it, a, uh, you know, as a, a holiday to uh, express your Irishness. Yeah, uh, through I think that mass uh, consumption of. Uh, of alcohol. I think, I think it is right. funny how a lot of uh, other people, other cultural holidays that we've embraced right. are all sort of based around drinking. And we just Cinco turn them into drinking holidays. Yeah, right. yeah. So this St. Patrick's Day, forget the amateurs and the green beer and celebrate the spirit of Ireland with the good stuff, the real stuff, the amber liquid that is the very essence of the country itself. Uh, I think that on St. Patrick's Day, there's no better way to do it than with a nice glass of Irish whiskey. To Ireland. To Ireland. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that is good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Much, much better than green beer. <laughs>